Hey guys, welcome back to 100KG Show. This is Phil and this is LG Y Smart. So this is the flat Android phone. This is a familiar concept that we've seen from Samsung Galaxy Golden and um, it's got a far lower specs coming with Snapdragon 400 quad core, a gigabyte of RAM and um, one watt speaker, eight megapixel camera and the direct shortcut key to Kakao Talk Messenger. So this is a, um, it's got a small screen, HVGA resolution. That's pretty classic. Um, the phone itself is not that expensive. So it comes in this uh, cheap looking boxes, but I don't think that's a, something to complain. There is the phone itself. And beneath that is the manual, a brief manual, charger, earphones, uh, very cheap looking earphones. Uh, it's got a standard uh, earphone jack, so you can just use any other earphone. Unlike the Galaxy Golden, uh, there's a micro USB port, uh, the cable, the battery charging pod, and two batteries. Alrighty, so let's get this out of plastics. So this is the LG Y Smart, an Android equipped flip phone. Let's take a closer look at it. It says Y Smart here and beneath that is a little LED to show you what's going on inside the screen. And this has a leather likely pattern. It's got a rubber coating on the top so it doesn't catch, uh, doesn't get scratches or fingerprints that easily. Same uh, goes the same with the back and LT logo, 8 megapixel camera and the one watt speaker that they're claiming to make good loud sound. There's a standard earphone jack and the dedicated camera shutter key, the volume rocker, and the micro USB port. That's it, it looks like a pretty standard uh, flip phone until you place the battery and turn it on. Ooh. All right, so this is how it looks. So, it's a big flip phone actually, so I think this is the minimum screen size of the screen that is that you can operate with the touch screen. The screen on the inside of the touch screen is just like any other Android phone with the, just with the keypad and different form factor. So let's try to turn it on. Definitely says that, Android. And uh, keys wise, there's a back home and the menu key says menu in Korean. And um, the message box, uh, the messagings album brings you directly to the photo album, the Kakao Talk Messenger key shortcut, and the address book, talk, and the clear key, and the keypad over here. All right, so this is the setting. Let's use the keypad. We can skip the Wi-Fi, Google settings, or you can just touch on it. You can either touch there to bring the software key keypad, or you can just use the the keypad built on the phone. Uh, hmm, lost focus. That's laggy. Anyway, and there are two modes. The automatic updates, the antivirus, and here we are on the main screen. So this is it. It asks, it's going to ask you to, uh, if you want to use the easy home, that's the bigger screen, the simple mode for um, the main targets. Well, obviously this phone is mainly targeted towards the elder population and they, for them to use this easily, this is the bigger icon menu. You can tap a menu and it's not going to bring the classic, uh, the menu bar right there with the settings that you can get access to, but rather just like the feature phones, it's gonna bring the app drawer. That was the concept of the menu before times of smartphones. Here it is. So this is a flip, uh, flip Android phone, which comes with the Android KitKat. It's a 4.4.4, .4, but um, they made it very clear that there won't be any further Android updates. So don't expect any kind of sort. There we go, 4.4.2. That's not the latest, but um, should be okay for now. Let's change the language over here if I can. Uh, there's only two languages supported, Korean or English. And here we are. 
And let's flip Android phone for you. If you're wondering about the size, it's about the size of the iPhone 5. It's that big. And to the bigger phones, the Series Galaxy has 5. And Xperia Z3. When closed, it's not a bigger phone. Uh, it's not a big phone, but when opened, of course, it gets bigger. So that was LG Wine Smart. So this is one of the few uh, flip Android phones available in the market. And this is far cheaper than the Samsung Galaxy Golden, which isn't available in the all markets either. Uh, LG is not planning to launch this anywhere uh, but three for now. But uh, who knows that um, the sales are going to go well and launch in the other places as well. Uh, this is an unboxing. The review is going to come very soon. So stay tuned. In order to do that, you got to drop by our homepage on thecage.com. We got more photos uh, there and other reviews for other devices as well. So please just drop by and there is under KG View channel as well and um, our social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. Follow them to get the latest of under KG. Thanks for watching and we'll come back with the review very soon. Stay tuned, bye.